This spread option scheme is the most fun I've ever had playing Madden 23. And you gotta try it. I have five plays for you that perfectly match Lamar Jackson's QB skills and athleticism. And these can potentially work for any other QB as well. Let's get right into it. The first play we're gonna go over is the RPO Orbit Bubble out of the Gun Doubles Offset Weak Formation. This play has an orbit motion ran by the outside receiver. When he motions over, you wanna read the linebacker to see if he tries to defend the motion route. If the linebacker does not go after the route, you have an easy throw to your receiver in space. Sometimes the game gives your receivers a bad blocking animation, but you'll usually be able to make some shifty moves for some easy yards. And if the linebacker or user does go after that motion route, you'll have an easy handoff to your running back for some easy yards. And you'll probably be winning in the numbers game because those linebackers or that user is trying to defend the motion route. Play number two is in the same formation, but the play is called Orbit PAX Spot. Now this play is pretty effective, even ran base with a post, corner, and spacing route, but I usually make some adjustments to make this play even better. The first setup I wanna show you is putting square on a slant, then the running back, on an out route. Now this route concept can be man or zone. With two routes cutting across the field, two check down routes, and a corner, these are all man beating routes with the ability to find the open window in a zone defense. One thing I do want you to notice here is that the orbit motion was able to occupy the user defender. And as you can see, this led to the user to be completely out of the play, which helps you make easier reads. And for the next part of this play, I usually put O on a drag and then R1, the running back, on a wheel route. This concept is best against zone defense because the orbit motion occupies the flat defender and the corner and the post occupy the deep zone which lead to open windows for the drag and the wheel route by the running back. And this play is probably my favorite play to run in Madden 23. It's called RPO read double screen in the doubles Y flex offset formation. But to understand this play I'm going to break it into parts. So first off, the play is a read option first. So you wanna read the defense like it's a read option, so you read the DN. If the DN runs to the running back, then the QB keeps the ball. And if the DN stays in place, then you give it to the running back. Now let's take a look at this play. The DN ran up the running back, so I kept the ball with Lamar Jackson. But although there was a lot of open field for me, which led to a big game, let's say that there are players in the open area. So wherever the X's are, those are the defenders. Then we need to look at our outside receiver who is running a simple screen route. If we feel that the corners and linebackers are closing up the open field, then we can make an easy throw to our screen receiver for some easy yard. And if you watch college football, a lot of college teams run this play when they're running a spread option offense. But we can't forget about the backside receiver who's running a screen. If we look backside and it's a two on two where two corners are lined up against our two receivers, then we may be able to throw that backside screen. If it's a 2v1, then we definitely should throw that because we're winning in the numbers game. So you can see that there are so many options in this single play. The next play that I'm gonna go over goes hand in hand with the RPO play that I just showed you. It's in the same formation, but the play is called PA Read. Like I said before, this play is perfect to match with the RPO play I just showed you because it looks the the exact same. But there are a few different ways you can run this play. The base play has a play action with the running back, X is running a zig, the O receiver is running a comeback, triangle is running a crossing route, and square is running a deep post. But if you were to run this play base, it can still work just as effectively. But there is a few ways you can make this play even more dominant. First, I want you to motion the square receiver on the post to the inside. This is to try to get the post across the hashes quicker to open up the field for the slant route coming across the field. But that is mostly for man defense. Now running this route concept in the same formation will just befuddle your opponent and make you unpredictable. You can see in this play, we literally had four routes open that could have gotten the ball. And honestly, I probably threw to the slant route who couldn't score. The rest of the routes probably could have scored. But now let's go to the red zone. When you're in the red zone, this play works best when you roll out in the pocket. But it could also work if you stay in the pocket too. For the route concepts, all you wanna do is put the O receiver on a slant and lead the rest of the routes the way they are. Snap the ball and see if the tight end can win on the zig route. If the tight end doesn't win the zig route, you have two crossing routes in the back of the end zone to throw to for an easy touchdown. And for the final play, we're gonna go over Mountain Z Spot in the Y Trips Offset Week Formation. And just like the other plays, you can run this base, but there are other ways to run it to confuse your opponent and to make it better. In this route concept, the only thing I do is put O on a drag route to leave the corner route with more space. So usually, my first read is the tight end on the seam route. But if that is not open, 
The corner is my second read who is in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And from there, if those two routes aren't open, I'll just look at my two check down routes. But against zone defense, you'll have wide open windows all freaking day. But let's talk about this play against a blitz. So in this play, my opponent was showing a blitz and I saw that the corner was backed off. I knew I had to throw the ball quick. So I was either gonna throw the ball to the running back who is still a wide open receiver in this play or square after I put him on a slant route. And one tip I have for you when your opponent is blitzing you a lot, especially when you're in this scheme, is to always look at your running back. In blitzes, a lot of the time, safeties are the guys that are on the running back, especially the meta blitzes, like under storm break. So when a safety is on a running back, you usually have a lot of space to throw and run for some easy yards. But let's get back to the play. So I snapped the ball, and I saw that the corner stayed on the 35 yard line. So he had no shot of cutting off that slant route. So I threw it as soon as I got the ball for an easy touchdown. But let's say that we're on the goal line and we wanna run this play. You could put O on a slant, but in this play, I actually just ran it base because I wanted to see what he would do with the running back route. And as you can see, he gave me enough space to throw it to the running back. The running back made a shifty move and somehow got an animation that I've never seen before, but was literally sick. But that was my five play mini scheme for spread option. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think and if it works for you. See you later.